Okay, after that last episode kind of got ruined, let's hope this one doesn't. Tizo? Huh. What's up, Tizo? Tizo seems somewhat less cheerful since his running with Lendl and the accusers. He approaches you, waiting for you to hear him out. Tizo seems unhappy about something Lendl said to him. He understands full well why Lendo is angry with him. While Tizo does not like Lendo as a person, he recognizes him unless they denied his freedom. It was a liberation right, he did what he felt necessary, he wanted to help his friend go free. Nonetheless, he still felt a certain guilt and regrets that the rights force exiles into such situations. While silent for a while, whether the eight tribes ever intended for imps such as he to participate in the rights first hand is difficult to know for certain then. He's as grateful to you for listening. He knows the scribes create the rights with good intentions. He promises to keep doing his best to live up to the legacy of the scribes. He bounds up into the rafters with some of the other drive imps, regardless of whether he truly is an ancestor of a... No, what? Wouldn't it be truly as a descendant of how the Swallow? Surely the scribes would have been proud of him. Um... Ravenous creatures indigenous to the downside, just often possessing a few passions other than the fast meal. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I forgot. So we're 9 and 0. Oh. Everyone else besides the essence is doing pretty bad. Uh, we have stride trials to do and all that, but let's um, let's continue on. I forgot to start the clock. Oh. Um. This way. Yeah. Guess so. Oh. Oh, hey, what's the big idea, huh? Oh, they can fly too. No, oh, it's you Nightwings. Could we rum it in again, I guess? We tempers have been trading flames with you. Who knows how long. So what? You got us once or twice lately. A matter of time before we go get you back. So you want to keep that in mind next time you go messing with these horns, hear me? Now get out of my sky. I want to check this out. Something about the strange island you see what draws your attention. Mr. Gucci is from the Isle of Kidmir. Even the scribes themselves ought to avoid this place. Let's just fly on. Alright. Weird. Just a forbidden island we're not allowed to go to. Okay. I guess let's go see if we can win another. Loom hangs thick above the pit of Milthy. And all around it, you are brave to seek your adversaries here again, reader. Many in the downside believe it to be nothing other than a foul den. They take the tales of Islak Astralborn, the Star Titan sealed away by the scribe, and, okay, to be mythology. <sighs> Excuse me. It's, starting to, it's four in the morning. Embellished throughout retelling over time. You have met others, such as Witchum Tell, who believe otherwise. Though, whichever their beliefs, I know of none who would go near this place unless the stars demanded it. Thus shall your coming right against the fate take place in complete secrecy, as always the rights have. Okay. Well, that's the right, so... Oh wait, what's this? Lo, amid the desolation of floggy hands, you see big virtues, from which you first embarked by sea. You wonder how its venerable proprietor is faring. Certainly, the big Birchute must have left a strong impression on you all. She's not easy to forget. I've known her since before my exile, or horrors. She's been here a long time. I sent my agents to repay her for assisting you, and to send her our regards. The old wagon must have been in need of some repairs. Oh. What? The must knows the task along this route to earn you stardust. There used to be an expedient path. Potentially lucrative task among this route. Okay. 
Sure. You return to the dismal region known as Flagging Hands. Straight away, you sense an air of dread, yet cling, uh, cling to hope that you make your that you can make your stay as brief as possible. You and your fellow exiles have time to yourselves before the day is done. Nonetheless, the dismissal, the dismal environs, will soon take their toll on everyone. Minus one hope. Suffer alongside them. Oh, we need to bury the dead. Oof. All right, let's bury the dead. You come be a lone minstrel in pursuit of his task here. Speak not directly to the living shade, and be true to true to your heart when responding to its inquiries. And make no attempts to look it in the eye. Little Minster offers these and other words of advice as you approach the burial mounds of Cold Moat. Northern Rude, Long Flag Heads, okay. Where many exiles the downside see their final days. Oh! Okay. I said in the. in the. the. the section for them, for this game, in the Game of the Year video, that they make every single character in this game hot, and even the fucking ghost is hot. I've always loved ghosts where you can see bones. I've always loved ghosts like that. Uh, I used to draw Megan from Second Street Blues like that. Glimmer of shade appears. Glimmer of a shade appears before you, and you stand surrounded by the dead. You barely see it; it does not speak, but you feel its thoughts pierce your heart and mind. Corner of the shade, the book that you possess may lay some of the fallen here to rest. Shade leaves you to your. Turn through the book, locating passages concerning freedom and the spirit. You recite such words as best as seem best fit to each of the fallen you see. This draining one. Shade resurfaces after a while and leads you to a hollow stump and fades away. Noxroom. We sold the slug market for 50 gold. Okay. Let's go back to the wagon and continue our journey. Being here in flagging hands continues to sap most of everyone's spirit. Another minus one hope. Oh, Jeez. Yeah, we have to go here. Although, didn't they get crushed last time? Ooh. You're in the gloomy halls of flagging hands. You encounter a messenger imp. Come to deliver news and rumor from the other side. Oh, yay. The news this time pertains to Hedwin, whom you liberated in the fall of Saloon. You're in Hedwin's return safe to the Commonwealth, where he is clothed and welcomed, his past trans transgressions all forgiven. He was to be groomed for leadership position of his choice, whether on the Council or the bl Blood Border, each equally as lucrative and secretive as well. However, he refused, and before the Stone Council members could do anything about it, he left them. He since made contract with Volfred's agents and is working together with them, thus the ranks of the Revolution grow stronger. Per the messenger room's custom, the last part of the message was transcribed from Hedwin word for word and says, Keep going, I'll see you here. You thank the messenger imp for relaying this information. Soon your companions are all abuzz about it. Glory examples that Hedwin has set for us. I wonder if he'll ever find the one he fell for. Yeah, that's how it's done, Hedwin. Right behind you, chum. Teaser was happy to hear Hedwin is well back in the Commonwealth. He did it. I always thought Hedwin was looking for someone out, out there back home. You think he found her? The news of Hedwin's liberation fills you and your fellow exiles with newfound resolve. Lost one hope. Hey, we only lost one hope. Good luck, Hedwin. All right. So. Oh, hey, you guys. You know. Dad here, he don't like talking much. Uh, don't get weeded out by that or anything, because I'll, I think he likes you. Especially if you keep buying stuff, haha. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, that's a really good one. Um, what's this? Eh. Um, Dowsing Every Pyre earns a reward of the five gold. Or three times of five gold each. Um, Thor not. When aura casting, raise the bear's maximum range by 8%. That's not too much. Grants the bear 2% and to hope. After managing the adversary, the bear gains one gold up to as many times per right. 10. 
Well, when plunging into the adversary, deals bonus to damage. Okay. Huh. Let's buy this. You guys have a good day out there. Alright. And then we will go... And... Who are we going to use in the next right is the question. Um, hmm. I really like Ruki for the right. The start of the right, the Bears Pyre automatically gains 15. Can we upgrade this? 21, yes. Okay, cool. That's, that's exactly what we're going to do then. Alright, commence the right. You and the others are busying yourself for the commencement of the right this evening when you notice Faye behaving strangely, more than usual. Maybe he's here. I mean, I think he has to be s somewhere nearby. She, she notices you then. Oh, I'm sorry, miss. I was just... I was just... Oh, it's just... I think my friend is here. Oh. And I was hoping to say hi to him before we have to do the ceremony with the Starball. Wait, is that... That's him! That's him! My friend is here! He's here! Just then, your adversaries, the fate, arrive on the other side of the pit of Nileith. They begin making necessary preparations. Fae rushes over to them before anyone could stop her, even the stars above shining through the darkness. Well, I hope, um... I hope this... I hope I can keep Faye on the team, because, uh... Uh, I just gave her a really good talisman. <laughs> You exiles of the Nightwings. You are returned once more unto the pit of Melith. The triumvirate you stand against shall be the fate. Snuff out their pious flame and show your worth. Now prepare yourselves. Oh, hello again. Hello. Why, hello indeed, young man. We are the fate, and once again we hail you, and all the night ones. And thanks, I was wondering, may I speak to your son? Why, I, I do not see why not. Let me see here. Elmer, Elmer, where are you? Begging your pardon, young one, but my son, he is not always punctual, you see. Hold, I, hold, I shall go and fetch him. Oh, okay, I mean, my friend, I hope that he remembers me. You? Wait, where's father? Father! Oh, hello, hello, again. Your father, he went looking for you. He, did you not see him? No, I did not see him. This best not be some Nightwing trick, or else I'll... Ah, there you are, Elmer. Oh, a cordial adversary wishes to salute you, I believe. Oh, that's right, I mean, here, this is my salute. I'm saluting you. Nice to see you, and may the scribes watch over you, okay? I want them to watch over us, all of us well, but maybe just this time, or not just this time, but this and other times, maybe, they can watch over all of us, okay? Through them stand and watch Faye skip over to rejoin your group. An unusual sort, that one. She is. She's about your age. Father. <laughs> Alright. Who shall stand together here this night? Well, Jody, because damage. And Faye, because Faye. We don't have another human. And you know what? We haven't had Oh. Oh, she won't. She won't be with Jody at all. Oh. Okay, I guess Ruki. Ruki. The choice is cast. That Delbert seems pretty decent sort for an old cur. Too bad we gotta take him down. See you yourself, Olimar. Are you prepared to face our adversaries once more again? Father. Always, father. Let us prepare. Let us prevail here and now. Let us do so indeed, my son. Okay. Oh. Oh, what? No. Mm. Oh, wow. 21 damage. Okay, don't let him touch. Well, 
There we go. What are you doing? Put your mask back on. We're in the middle of a right. Oh, I know. It's just I want to say thank you. You're very brave, is all I think. Because we have encountered many triumvirates by now. I mean, we have the dissidents and the Templars. And what are you talking about? Get to the point. Oh, I'm sorry. I I didn't mean. I just. My name is Faye. I want you to know my name. It's Faye. Since I know yours. I see. Then bring yourself, Faye. You shall not hold back. Okay. This is Such cute. Such a struggle it must be for poor old Dalbert and his witless son. Their pyre spies. All right. The orb. <laughs> There we go. Okay, we just need Jody to get in once and then it's still over for them. Ah. Oh, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Shoot. Oh, he threw it. That's he still does a lot of damage. And there we go. One more. I'm starting to figure out, or remember, I should say. What? Oh. Shoot, 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 Rookie, get back here. Oh. Okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's no way as soon as I got Rookie out there. Alright. Cool. I hope this episode doesn't get fucked. <laughs> um, wait, I, I want I'm sorry, I just wanted to apologize, I think. Why, young ones, you must not say such things. You are one of the Nightwings, the most envied of all triumvirates. We aspire to your greatness and your legacy. Father, please, no more of this. They prevailed. Do not grovel at their feet. Um, Ulmer? Uh, is it Ulmer? I just had a question. Ask quickly and then go about your business. Oh, I just... Um... Would you be my friend? What? I was wondering if you'd be my friend. Because I don't... Well, I don't have a lot of friends, and you're brave and gentle with your father, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this. I'll see you in a little while, my son. What, I... The scribes, were they not friends? I think... I choose to think they brought us here to be closer together, not to be apart. Huh. There is much to learn from this experience. What a nonsense, all of this, that we've come this far. Fortune alone cannot be the cause. Oh, she leveled again. Um, I could just choose more? Okay, Jodo can banish adversaries by flinging the orb into them. Oh. Yeah, that that's why I chose that. Alright, nothing yet. And nothing yet. Okay. Alright, I'm going to use her next, which means I'm not going to get Jody. But I like Pamela. Back at the Black Wagon, the Night Wings are unwinding after they vanquished the fate in a convincing manner. The deadest hour of night is approaching, so you excuse yourself to read the stars outside and plot a course for your next confrontation. The stars yet shine for you, revealing various paths forward. Alright, let's go check it out.
Well, this is the biggest one. Oh, God. Yeah. Against the punk rock curse. I'll do it. Uh, we're gonna be butting heads against old Barker again, are we, sister? Get asked to help us know ahead of time so I can brush up on my groveling. He then shares with you what he knows of your next opponent. Barker Ashballs, volatile curve, and his pack, the dissidents, conduct rites more so for thrill than freedom. Back in the other side, Barker never quite took to the culture of the Commonwealth, and often ran afoul of the law for various acts of boorishness and vandalism. He was promised to go straight, and in time he found a certain niche, where he was an accomplished hunter. The people of Commonwealth did have an appetite. Barker should relish the hunt more than anything, he spent his earnings on a variety of questionable things. One particularly raucous evening, Barker was caught relieving himself on the foot of the statue of Archjustice Eidberg the whatever the fourth, the Grand Judge, who in 16, uh, 617 AS issued a decree prohibiting literacy. In, okay. And that was the end of his citizenship. The downside, it seems to have caught the notice of the distance, who in turn have observed his speed, ferocity, and fearlessness. He's now the best of them. Where his reputation grew among the exile curs in the Jormorn region, where he is feared and unafraid of taking what he wants. Not long after they flushed me down, I was just trying to make ends meet and made a deal with him. Hindsight, let's just say it was a bad idea. Should make my life go real sour if he wants. Anyways, better go pass out. We have a long few days ahead. You wish Ruki a restful evening in turn. When it's too late to take flight, tomorrow you can press on. Alright. Then we will continue our journey tomorrow when we do that. But first, let's talk to Faye. Hey, Faye. Hmm. Faye seems very happy about something and has been chanting softly to herself. Closer to affection to her, she seems to be in conversation with the wagon wall. So, after the rites, he said to me, I think he said to me, Farewell. Can you believe it, little brother? He said that. Then he left to go find Mr. Dalbert, who went on ahead. And so I think that maybe we are friends now. Don't you think so? We have a lot in common, don't we? Friends are supposed to have a lot in common, right? For instance, um, we're both fighting for those we care about. For those who help us when we need it. Is that not so? He's very lucky to have met Mr. Delbert, isn't he? She falls silent for a moment and then... It cannot be that the eight scribes intended that all of us just have to fight each other all the time. It cannot be. So many whom we face, they don't like us much, very much, do they? Because if we prevail against them, it must mean that they cannot go home, even if they really want to. So that's why they don't like us. Back home, when they told me so, to stop being me, I, I didn't like them either. You know what I, th uh, what, uh, you know what I think, little brother? I think the scribes put us together on all of this so that we can learn from one another and grow closer together as friends. That's what I like. Th that's what I think, little brother. And told them so. And maybe next time when I see Almer and Master Mr. Dilbert, they'll be happier to see me then. She bounces off, noticing you as she goes. Ah, Hi, miss. Since some burden has been lifted from her, and her knowledge of the rites, however informal it may be, has crystallized into a deeper understanding. One permanent hope. Wish her well. Okay, cool. Anyway, um... Oh. Hmm, that's cool. That's all for now, and uh, we'll see you next time. I'm gonna try to get back into the swing of this come January and stuff trying to get my life in order but yeah have a nice night i'll see ya okay so quick addendum to the end of the last episode i recorded uh what was that night not 19 13 13 so also i never noticed how just gorgeous this is like the flames and the books and everything anyway um, so there have been a couple patches. This is a Friday. The last time I recorded was a Wednesday when I recorded 13. Uh, this happens when I go into the thing now. I'm currently talking to Supergiant Support, who are lovely, by the way. I, I didn't even at them on Twitter. I just said my Pyre save was missing. And they contacted me on Twitter within, like, three minutes and told me to send an email. I sent them an email saying, hey, this isn't, <clears throat> like, the most pressing issue ever. It's okay. 
it's the holidays. You guys just you you, you take your time. You, you you do you. And they got back with to me. It, they got back to me with a support email within five minutes. And I'm currently going back and forth, trying out a few different things while also doing some QA stuff on my own. Uh, but for now, I can't play the game because my my save files are in the correct locations. Like they are there in the in the folders that they are supposed to be. Because there's three save, save possible save locations for the game. One of them doesn't exist on my computer, but the other two they are there. They they, they exist, and I don't know what's happening so i'm gonna try uninstalling the game and reinstalling it and seeing if that works i'm going to try manually downloading the steam cloud version of the save because i think i have steam cloud enabled on this i'm not sure though and i'm gonna try a few other things but yeah pyre's great but something's broken and i don't think it's pyre's fault i think this is something with my computer so, I'm going to mess with that for a while, and I will be back with more Pyre when I possibly can. Yeah, I missed this game. I literally went to go record, like, I was recording Mafia, stopped, I, I finished up four episodes of Mafia, stopped recording Mafia, saw that Pyre had just updated, I was like, oh yeah, Pyre, I gotta go finish that. I should go record that today, because I was going to go record something else. And I was like, no, I'm going to go do Pyre. I start a Pyre up, and this is what happened. And I was like, oh, oh, oh no. So, yeah. Gonna go find what's up with that. Uh, anyway, I will see you later with Pyre at some point. If I have to go play through six hours of the game again off camera, I'll do that. It just will take me a long time a lot longer because I, I have um, I have things to do but yeah uh, I'll, I'll see you later in Pyre and plenty of other stuff will be going up in its place I actually have something that could go up in its place starting tomorrow so <laughs> have a nice night everybody I will see you when I get this figured out all are not the same but three shall be